Hello, everybody. I uh, want to finish up the third and final portion for uh, the little introductory part here by talking about homeworks and tests. Um, so uh, everything is, again, going to be based on Blackboard, so we can start there. Um, you can see that after you know you have lecture, participation, and then you can see the sapling assignment. So um, we're going to have actually two sapling assignments from now on. Um, we're going to have a midweek assignment that's going to be due Thursday and then a weekend assignment, like a weekly assignments like we've had previously do uh, Sunday. So the Sunday assignments, that's going to be everything that we've seen previously. Um, they're going to be links to the assignments in Blackboard if you need them. Um, you also probably just can get to the sapling on your own and the schedule. Sapling has its own schedule, as you know. Um, so that assignment is this midweek sapling assignments right here. Um, the goal, this is going to be different than we've seen before. One of the things you'll note is you are not penalized for incorrect responses. Um, so this is content. The idea here is these are questions that are from on, that are going to be relevant either from the first lecture of the week, or in this case, for the test. Kind of want to get those juices flowing a little bit. You know, hey, these are the things you want to remember for the test. Uh, kind of some of those ideas. And so, um, you know, they're going to be there. And we want to, you know, kind of keep engaged. Uh, most weeks, it's going to be due um, on Thursday at 12:30 uh, p.m. Right when we're going to be doing that that web conference meeting because we want to kind of get everyone together, uh, get everyone kind of on the same page, engaged with material. It's kind of the name of the game uh, in the online sphere. Make sure everyone's kind of sticking with the schedule, knowing what's going on. Um, and so it's going to be a little bit different, though, but I encourage you, hopefully, uh, that also pays dividends, you know, grade-wise. You also see the problems, the kind of problems that are in there are meant that you can kind of, through some trial and error, learn from incorrect mistakes and kind of move forward with that. So um, if you have any questions about the midweek homework, let me know. Beyond that, um, we have the test. So this week, we're going to be doing exam two. Um, this is actually my 1411's exam two that you're currently looking at uh, because it's just a little more polished than y'all's. But uh, it's all the same, going to be the same idea. Um, they do the same time. Everything looks the same. Uh, the first thing is the exam two review, uh, which you uh, want to be sure you can do. That's under, if you go to Thursday Lab Documents exam two content, there's a review that's posted there. If you do that and then you upload either an image or PDF scanned, anything you have of your work, you put it into here. Um, I'll give you five points on your test grade. So you know this is the same thing we did for test one. I did two points there. I'll give you a full five um, on this one. I mean, you want to get that in before uh, you take the test. The um, idea is that's meant to be useful. Um, so then exam two, it's grayed out right here. That means you can't see the students, can't see it. It's not released to the students. That's why we're, you're in my view. That's why there's all these purple things popping up. Um, the test will become available March 26th. That's Thursday at noon and it will close um, on Saturday at 11.55. So you need to finish it before 11.55. Um, and once you go into the test, it's going to look like we've seen previously with um, the prelapse. It's going to be different. Yours is over chapters 13 and 14, not 4 and 5. Sorry, you're not doing a stoichiometry test. Uh, and it's going to be, you know, when you go in, it's going to look the same. You're given the instructions and all that kind of stuff. While this does look the same as the prelab, there are a couple differences as to how it's going to functionally work. Um, one of the things is that you only have two hours to complete the test. You cannot open it, save it, come back, anything like that. Once you open it, you're you're going. Right. So you don't want to just be clicking around, playing around, opening the test. That's also why it doesn't open until Thursday to prevent un or accidental clicking. Uh, that you know I don't want to have to reset it for people. Um, it, you have two hours, and after that two hours is up, it just automatically submits whatever you have. So if you're working in there, it's done. It's going to be going through. So you want to be sure that you're completing the test in one sitting, um, that you can set aside a full two hours. If you have internet issues or connectivity problems, you can always reach out to me, and we can adjust that. But for in general, you know, you want to be getting it done uh, in that time. We'll go ahead and take a look a little bit to see what it is. If we begin, you'll note that at the top there's this test information. Um, so that's always going to be there. You can hide it using this, um, and that uh, will drop down. You can see this is a 1411 test, so I don't, I don't care if you know it. Uh, and so we got that right there. Um, the other thing you'll note is that it's split apart by questions. So this is question one. Um, on, in the prelabs, they're all just there. Here we can see there are going to be individual questions. 
Um, and these buttons, you can go between questions. So you can move question one, now we're on question two. You can also jump all the way to the back. So you can jump to the very end of the test. This is question 17 out of 17. And so we can see there is this nice distribution. You can save the answer for each question. You can also save and submit. Okay, so this save and submit means that you are done with the test. Um, you want to be sure to click this button. Theoretically, Blackboard is going to save it anyway and submit it anyway. I have it set to do that, but it's probably a good idea on your end to go ahead and make sure you submit. Uh, you may have lost Blackboard work previously when you didn't submit it. Um, that is still going to be the case. We do want to be sure we get in there. Um, okay. Um, so again, you're going to have two hours uh, to go through there. Um, once it starts, it goes. Um, and then, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to finish whenever. Oh, I do also want to note, uh, on your test, you will need to use scientific notation. Um, and there is a, a, a format for doing that. Basically, it's 3.7 capital E and then the X button. So that would be the number out front. Capital E corresponds to times 10 to the, and then you just write the exponent. Um, so in this case, it was negative four, so there's a negative four right there. And it would be a positive for a positive exponent. The final caveat about the test is when you, all those answers that you go through on Blackboard, that is only gonna account for 50% of your grade. You also need to upload work of how you got that. So there will be some explicit questions that are gonna ask you, you know, uh, what, you know, like if you think about it on test one, which one would evaporate there and why. It's so gonna be questions like that on there, uh, where on the Blackboard portion, it's gonna say, you know, which one of these is better or worse or changes. And then I'm gonna ask you to put your explanation in your uploaded work. So the explanation needs to show up in the uploaded work. Um, the uh, other thing you wanna uh, be sure to do is anything that's numerical, right? We've done some pretty heavy duty calculations, ice table type things. Um, you can't really get that in a, Blackboard problem, but you know you can do that upload here. Um, so re that's related to this. I would encourage you. It's it's going to be uh, you'll get a lot of uh, gains to get some sort of functionality to do this uploading. There's plenty of apps. If you have a phone, I use Scanbot uh, for iOS. That works really well for me. I found I'm sure Android has plenty of uh, possibilities. Um, a free app, Scanbot's free. You can buy the pro one if you, if you want to get fancy, but uh, it doesn't need to be fancy. Or just straight images also work. Um, if you want to do that, if you just take pictures of your work and, and send them to me or upload them through these things, that's all fine as well. Um, okay, um, if you have, and so that's generally it for it. Um, and you generally want to do that within 30 minutes. Just minute exam. I want to see the actual work of your exam. 30 minutes is, should be plenty of time to, to submit or to scan any sort of work that you have. Um, you don't, you shouldn't need too much else besides that. Okay. Um, so that's generally going to be it uh, for the homework and for the tests. It shouldn't be too much difficult. Uh, do this the homework especially is going to be generally the same idea we saw. And then the tests, I think once you get in there, it's, it's generally going to be hopefully uh, relatively straight. Or at least not a, relatively straightforward, relatively kind of linear, uh, at least once you get in there. You just don't want to do it earlier than you're ready. Um, okay, so that brings us to our very important... Participation question three. Um, so most weeks we will have two sapling homework assignments. What days will they be due? So for participation one, which is on 325, this is due March 25th. Uh, question three, most weeks we'll have two sapling assignments. Uh, what days will they be due? Um, this week it's a little bit different because it's gonna be due at midnight on Thursday, uh, but mostly usually be that 1230 on Thursday, so I want to point that out. It's a little bit different. Um, what other day are they due? So I gave you one answer. I'm helping you out here. Um, so that's going to be uh, the only, the, the last thing that I have for this. Um, so we do want to be sure um, that we're getting through all of our things. So at the end of the slides here, I got this last slide, which I see this should be, that's, wait, no, we're not week six. Oopsies. There we go. Week nine. That's us. Um, this should be 325. I'm sorry. Uh, that should not say 324 participation. Uh, so it's due March 25th. Uh, it's due Wednesday. The participation is due uh, Wednesday. It always will be due Wednesday. Um, midweek homework nine is due Thursday at 11.55. And then you got exam two. Uh, opens 326 at noon and closes 328. That's Thursday to Saturday. 
Um, so pretty solid time. You just need to set aside two hours within that. I work on setting, figuring out a space that you can use as well as a time, desk, table, anything like that. Um, let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff. Um, if it's before the web conference meeting, you can bring them up then. Uh, if it's afterwards, shoot me an email, uh, give me a call, anything like that. Um, but otherwise, uh, I hope you have a rest of the week. If you have any questions about the test or anything like that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.